here we go. Here is the cruise for a corpse diagram I have made of the relationships of the people in the game so that we've met so far. <laughs> it's kind of sloppy. Um, up at the top, we have Nicholas, Nicholas Karabujan. His death is what kicks off the entire game. That's, this is what happens in, in, in the introductory sequence. It's, this is kind of a mess, but it's almost, it's almost okay that it's a mess. We don't really see him beyond that the, when he's dead like this, unfortunately. <laughs> Now his wife, his wife here is, is is his family here. This this heart that's his wife Rebecca Karabujan. That's his new wife. Uh, Nicholas has a daughter here, Daphne Karabujan, um, but below the two of them here with the with the dark sunglasses. Now she um, her mother was Mercedes Karabujan, which was Nicholas Nicholas Karabujan's previous wife. But this isn't the new wife. You can see by this they don't get along. The jaggedy. Ooh, real, real Lady Elfie, homemade pizza smothered in cheese the way God intended. Fantastic. I love it. So Rebecca and Daphne don't get along, she being the stepmother. Another family member that we don't see in the game who is mentioned is Agnes. Agnes is Daphne's aunt. Daphne, and, and sorry, Af, uh, Agnes's son, oh, I misspelled it, is Dick Schmuck here, who got his inher who got her inheritance. And he was not that he wasn't known to the family until recently, when he showed up, and now he's gotten the inheritance. Other people associated with Nicholas Kerbujan on the left-hand side to his direct left is Hector, the butler with the feather duster. There's also Tom Logan on the on further to the left, who is Tom Kerbujan's lawyer. Rose Logan is his wife. They apparently don't get along. Rumor has it. Also, for some reason, Tom and Rebecca seem to get along really well, but we don't know what's going on there. That's what the deep purple line is running across the top. Down here um, to the bottom left of Nicholas Kerbujan is Ju Julio Esperanza, who is Daphne's ex fiance and they don't get along, uh, predictably speaking. To Suzanne, Suzanne Plum is Daphne's friend. Her and Nicholas Kerbujan don't get along, but she's friends with Rose Logan and uh, and also Father Fabiani. Father Fabiani is associated with Nicholas Kerbujan, but they had a dispute that had to do with some kind of raising of money for the church. Yeah, a few people only have red lines coming out of them. Yeah, a lot of them, um, Rebecca seems to be in the center of a lot of conflict in the game. And of course, bottom left is Raoul de Santier, who is your, who is you, who is us, the player character. Very, very super dapper. Yeah, not not pictured here is Mercedes, who was um, Nicholas's wife before the game started. She died in a car crash. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So family, current family is Rebecca, the widow, stepdaughter Daphne. And this is Dick Smuck is Daphne's nephew, uh, Daphne's cousin. Although Julio thought thinks for some reason that uh, Agnes was Nicholas's aunt, but two people said that Agnes is Daphne's aunt, so we're going with that. That is the current relationships as we know it in this game. I don't think I've missed any anyone. And now why don't we get into it? We're going to change our um, tag here to Cruise for a Corpse, and we are going to get into some Cruise for a Corpse. I'm, I'm going to need to um, fix the screen too. Okay. Give it a second. I need to, for it to start running. Oh, I need to also pull up my, my, my walkthrough. And let me know if that's too loud. This game tends to be pretty loud. And, uh, okay. Oh, it's quiet. Okay. I will turn that up. I will turn that up. And I also need to, you can't see it yet either, so we're going to need to fix that too. Turn up the audio on this and also the LP. Oh, see, that's still that. Um, let's just add a new window capture. Okay, great. Great. So here is the game. I'm just going to restore the game. Okay. 
Wonderful. Okay. Load. Okay, December 6th latest. So that was last week. Yes, that was. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we were speaking to to Daphne, I suppose. And I should have I should have uh, watched back. And uh and <laughs> I'm not even sure what time it is. Let me um let me just say thank you for your help so we can do a time check. Time. I'm really glad we can do this. Okay, so... Oh. That wasn't long enough. That's a 1 o'clock, I suppose? Two, is that 2 o'clock? I, I can read the time. It's 2 o'clock. Okay, 2 o'clock. This is... This is Rose Logan. Yeah, sorry. This is Rose Logan. This is uh, Tom Logan's wife, the lawyer. 1 o'clock. Okay. So one, okay, go, we have to go to the cabin. Okay, so good. We're right on track. I do really like that this has a, a fast travel. And yes, you might be, it might be quiet right now. There's not music throughout this game. It's, it's, it comes and goes. Oh, I'm at two o'clock. Sorry, two o'clock. <laughs> I can tell the time. Oh yeah, we got the gun advertisement. Yeah, so there's the music. My gosh. I'm gonna... Yeah, we do have the gun advertisement, right? What? Go... Where's the gun advertisement? Oh, wait, is it the paper? No. Okay, wait. Okay, wait a second. Okay, maybe I have to go to the upper deck. Yes, I'm at two o'clock. Oh. I, th I could have sworn. I should have... My, my prep did not include checking where we left off, but there's supposed to be a gun advertisement. Upper deck, I searched the bag for the gun advertisement. Map. Upper deck. Okay, you know what? Give me a second. I'm going to load it again. <laughs> load. Do we give Daphne the gun advertisement? Talk to Rose about the advertisement for guns. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so we did find it. Okay. Yeah, so we did do this. The gun, this gun would make him happy. Happy birth, oh, happy wedding anniversary. <laughs> what wedding anniversary is that for, I wonder? Okay, good. So we did do that. Okay, great. Okay, 210. Go to Tom and Rose Logan's cabin. Okay, we're, we're on track now. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Oh, the music. Oh, dear. It's too loud? Okay, we, that's easy. Easy to fix. Okay, there. Okay, and now we have to search. We have to search these um, towels and things. I just want to look at everything. Soap. Soap. And I don't... See, the thing is, I don't really know why we would do this. That, that's kind of like the motto for this game. Did we take the letter? Read. This isn't possible at the moment. Okay. Go to Upper Deck, see Suzanne. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's do that. I like how he's, he's, his head looks down. Oil skin. A nice oil skin. I do like looking at everything, but there's not... Red canvas folding chair. Okay, examine. Laundry. Okay, so let us um, go to where we need to go. Oh, oh, there's more. Is there more stuff in here? Not really. This is big book though. 
I want to go back. Uh, this game supports MT32. I tried last week. It sounds better, but Melody is still messed up. Must be emulation. Yeah, Vus is that. That's cheese, except it's not cheese. Another business folder. Another business folder? Blotting pad. Oh, under every blotting pad there must be a, a secret. I want to look at all these these things. But Oh, we can open up every single one of these. You know what we're going to do? Door is empty. It's just like my game. And look, he even kneels to open. It's glorious. Get down there. Open that last one. Yeah. It looks familiar to me. Okay. Okay. See, exactly. You gotta store random keys under blotters eating with. The rest are just letting the whole team down. Okay. Now we gotta go to upper deck again. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Help, help. I'm falling to the sea. Help. Yeah, the animations are only relief when you're walking around aimlessly clicking on stuff. Um... A... Examine the sea? Can we not examine... Um... Oh... Oh... What? Wow. <laughs> okay, she was... Well, she... Okay. She, she, she was saved. We didn't save her. I like her little coach. Oh, this is beautiful. What? I don't know what I'm supposed to notice. C cable on the guardrail. Okay. Sawed through. This is not an accident, but a true blue attempt at murder. This is good. This is good. Oh. She looks recovered. Susan may ask a few questions. We're supposed to save her, but she just got saved anyway. Because I... Th <laughs> this game runs kind of fast, but I think we're okay. Someone saved her, right? Okay. Someone wants to kill Suzanne. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is Nicholas is the guy who died at the start. This is his Aunt Agnes, whose health... He took her in because she was really sick. And she just seems to get... She, she died eventually, but she got sicker and sicker and eventually died. Uh, sometimes I'm convinced that it's the medicine that ma is making me sick. Okay. So maybe Nicholas offed his own aunt for her, her inheritance. Oh, wow. So Agnes was in excellent health to be begin with, and I guess... The suspicion is that Nicholas started to poison her? Okay, so that's because we were told that uh, Nicholas was, didn't want Suzanne to come, but she managed to get her way on here to investigate. She's kind of like a little detective herself. <clears throat> okay, well that's... Wow, that was a whole hour. Would you mind going to my cabin and bringing my, me my cosmetic case? Funnily enough, on the on the walkthrough, that's not what we do next. But that's okay. So I'm going to save it because that seemed pretty significant. And I hope it's okay that we didn't save her. Why? I, don't you want to sit not there? I guess she's kind of still shaken. Okay. Save. Uh, this is now 2.20 of the December 12th. Is today the 13th? Wow, already. Okay. 
to 20 p.m. 15 o'clock. Oh, Bill Coon, um, you, you've missed a little, like, not tons. Not a, not a ton. We just, um, saw a woman, uh, almost get murdered, but then she got saved, not by us. But someone did it. Now we have to go to laundry room. There is an interesting scene, actually, that I... You know what? Now that we've saved, I do want to show you guys. So I do know that there have been, there's been at least one scene that we have missed in this game because we're going with the walkthrough. But I do want to show you a scene that's kind of cool. So we're going we're gonna, to uh, do this. When I was trying to find images of the characters to make my little diagram, I, um, I was looking for Hector. And we, I got to go to this room which I'd never seen before. And it was Butler's cabin. And you get treated to this, which you've never been in before. And actually, it's funny because when last time I tried to visit here, Hector was in this room. But we have not seen this room yet ourselves. It's padlock. Can I move behind? Can I move it? Bolts to the wall. Can I move, lock, look behind? Don't see anything special. That's kind of a tease. Examine. So I haven't actually really interacted with this room because all I did was I visited Hector in here. Yeah, the colors are excellent. The colors are really beautiful. I think this is going to be my new, um, my next thumbnail for the for the Let's Play because it is gorgeous. The reds and the greens and the blues. This is now the kind of request emoji string. Yes, that's perfect. The scroll and the and the the dagger and the blood. Yeah. So th that was the most significant thing, honestly, that ever that's happened in this game so far, Bill Coon. Is the attempted uh, murder of Suzanne. Ah, must walk like a duck. Heel of the shoe has a metal tip. Can I put it on? Oh, he's got size 14 feet. Okay. Yeah, but the, yeah, this is probably somewhere we'll go eventually, but I did want to show it to you guys because... Um, I, we just hadn't seen this before, so I thought it was kind of cool. And it is a gore... Like, I love the... the the walls being kind of beaten up and stuff. It's kind of nice. Okay. But anyway, let's let's continue with the walkthrough. Yes. So yeah, the walkthrough next is telling me I need to go to the laundry room, search a pot for a small key. And I don't know how I would know how to do that in this game. But yeah, you get, I guess the, the, the walkthrough is not meant... The walkthrough is not really meant to be understandable. It's just trying to get you through everything just in the fastest way possible. Find a small key. Great. No inscription on it. Bilkin says, you know what? Murder, she wrote, adapted into a murderer adventure game would be super, a super, super cool thing. I, I was thinking, I love Columbo, and I was thinking how fun it would be for there to be a Columbo mystery adventure game, but I have no idea how that would work because of the way Columbo is structured as a show. Because you see the murderer murder the person at the beginning, so we all know what happens, and then Columbo, we watch Columbo figure it out, so I don't know how a player character would, would fit in that. Okay, go to, okay now i got to go to Daphne, Daphne's room. Oh, there are there Murder, She Wrote games? Foggage screen? You can picture the Columbo dialogue trees. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this room is in disarray. Time. Oh, two of them, TV Prime, indeed. Moral recording says maybe, game is, maybe the game is the Richard Murderer having to be nice to Columbo. Yeah, I think it would be a really fun... Oh. I think it would be a really, a really fun like thing to try to do. We can always hide behind it. There's a music box on the floor. Okay. Oh, look! It's got a little ballerina that's like three pixels high. That's great. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love the way the wood grain is done in this game. The wood grain in my game is like just one pixel wide, but I love how they've done it here. 
Oh, what? 2009, Murder, She Wrote the Video Game. Jesse Jeffy says, once again, so awesome that you love Columbo, Julia. It's almost as if you're a lot older than you look. Let's not get into that. But I will take a quick... <laughs> I'll take a quick little break here just to show you guys one fun thing. It's just right here. Columbo, the complete series. Look at this. Look, look at this. this so you get um, seasons one to seven... There's 69 episodes of Columbo. The reflection on the side looks rendered. Look at this thing. Okay, so. The, these are the most ridiculous cases. So you get, you open this up. It's got um, double-sided things of Columbo. There's about three or four usually on, on one of these discs. And this thing all just comes out. It just... I don't know, it's not very well made. But yeah, you just get all the discs in here. They should have called it the, <laughs> the Columnibus. <laughs> Good sales. That's a lot of uh, cigar smoking and detective work. Yeah, this this is an excellent... Oh, we're working. You watch them all over the summer. Great stuff. I'm still working through this. I, I love it. It's funny because... Um, you see a lot of actors from, yeah, like a certain era in Hollywood. Um, you see, you'll see Leonard Nimoy, you'll see William Shatner, you'll see Ricardo Montalbaum. Um, in, in the William Shatner, in the William Shatner episode, the Walter Koenig has, has a cameo, like a little cameo. Um, you can see um, George Hamilton. You can see all, all kinds of amazing people. And actually in some directors too. I mean, famously Steven Spielberg, a young Steven Spielberg, filmed one of the first, directed one of the first episodes of Columbo. And recently one I watched was Jonathan Demme, or Jonathan Dem, um, directed one episode of Columbo. It's it's really something. It's a really like amazing time capsule of, well, well uh, Los Angeles in like the 70s to the 80s to the 90s. And you can see just the decor. It's in like the, the fashion and everything. And it was filmed at that time. It's not like, it's not like a, they're, they're dressing the, the sets to be a certain era. Like you, they are in that era and representing that era. So that's really cool. And TV Prime, I've never seen Monk. I'm, I'm wondering if, I'm, if, if I should give that a shot too. <laughs> Can I come over to watch? <laughs> it's, it's so fun. It's, it's such a fun show. Um, so let's get back into our, uh, let's get back into this. I just wanted to show it because I'm a yeah, huge fan of Columbo. My mom loves Columbo too. Uh, it's fantastic. It reminds me of pushing up Rose's picture of herself with her murder. She wrote DVD collection, Bill Kinn says. Yeah, more recording. The fashion is divine. The fashion and the makeup and the interior decor, like the shag carpeting in the offices and everyone is smoking. It's just, it's really something. <laughs> oh, Master says, I believe Twitch watch parties are a thing now. Sweet streamers can watch together with viewers if everyone has Amazon Prime. Oh, is, is Columbo on Amazon Prime? Oh, yay, Judge Con. Wife just came in and handed me chocolate Christmas coins. <laughs> That's awesome, Judge Con. Day just improved. Fantastic. And Shatner, Justin Jeffrey says, used to be my boss, not really, but kind of. He used to co own a company I worked for. Oh, that's cool. And uh, can we just all appreciate the wonderful reflectiveness of this met metallic music box reflecting the grain of this wood table? Or wood floor, I suppose it's on the floor. Okay. So this, there's no indication of anything we can do with this. So I'm glad I have the walkthrough because there's nothing is coming up as a hotspot. Okay. Look at that. Look at that reflection. How come there's no music? There should be, right? There's no music to this music box. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Where's the music? Hold on. Did I turn the music off again? What is with me and music today? Volume mixer. Oh, I did I? Is there just no music coming out of this music box? Is that the problem? Well, music was working before, wasn't it? I'm not going crazy. Yeah, 
yeah, it's it's incredible. Maybe in the story it's broken. I don't know. I, I was kind of assuming it would do a thing. Okay. Okay, examine the music button and block the ballerina while she is spinning. Okay, it's a timed thing. Okay, I'm going to wind it. This, it's, this is one of the most impressive feats of EGI I've ever seen. So we have the blocker. Okay. Examine block the wish. Take turn the key and the drawer will open. Look at that. Secret compartment. <laughs> TV prompt says, How many scenes would it take to make that music box, do you think? I I don't want to think about it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, so there is music, just the music the music box doesn't do it. Is that too loud for you guys now? Because I really pumped up the volume. Okay, so Mouse just checked. There's no music from the music box in the game. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, the captions censored a misheard bad word. Yeah, I turned on um, like censoring on my... Because I don't really swear on my stream. So if I don't want it to misconstrue anything I say anyway. Because I, I wouldn't be accurate. Can't hear anything. Okay. I will turn up music again. Because there is music here. How's that? Okay, cool. So, I'm gonna save it again, because I feel like we've made some pretty good progress. And I don't know how I would figure out to do that music box like that. Otherwise. Deck 13, uh, 310. 15, 1510. Music better good. Thank you guys. Okay. Okay, so let's look at this letter. Another letter. There's a lot of letters. Is this the letter? Okay, miss. Okay, so this is a letter in, in Daphne and Suzanne Plug's cabin. We don't know whose letter this is. Okay. Okay, a man offered me money to accompany one of his friends. Okay, he was cute and we parted all night. Two cops grabbing Raphael. Who's Raphael? Okay. Okay. I Bass guitar rules the soundtrack. Blap, blap, blarp, blap. Okay, new character, Lola. Her name was Lola, she was a showgirl. They call okay, that man came to me, called himself Carabrugian. So Nicholas Carabrugian. That was a Nicholas Carabrugian. Okay, so I need to read that again because I want to... Okay. So Nicholas Carabrugian offered Lola a lot of money to accompany his friend Raphael. So I think maybe Nicholas was trying to drive a wedge between... Um, Raphael and maybe Daphne? Okay. Cool. Yeah, the music is really not the best in this game, I have to admit. Okay, um... Go to bar. Oh boy, more music. <laughs> Wait for Captain to call that war. Some cookie. Okay, something going on. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. This game's really getting exciting. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to want to see that again. I'm going to turn on the cycles. That was amazing. That was amazing, but way too fast. Okay. 
We're gonna do that again. Yeah, Carnival Midway music. Um, on a cruise ship, I still say it doesn't fit. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Lipstick. Okay, what a throw. So we're gonna control function. Um, we're gonna take that right down. Ooh, we're gonna take that down to uh, something more manageable. Okay, let's try that. Because I want to see that again. That was too good. Okay. Instant replay. Let's do this again. Because the graphics are top notch. Honestly, turning the cycles on is not doing anything. <laughs> right? We tried this before. It, it mildly does something, but I really turned them down. You need to go really low? Okay, we're gonna go really low. Uh, okay, there. Really low. Okay, don't be a child, we will work it. So this is Dick Smuck. This is, um, and Rebecca. Rebecca is the widow of Nicholas Kerbujan. She got all the inheritance money from Agnes. Okay, I'm gonna blow your head off. Drama. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Fantastic. Really good. Okay. Let's pump that up back to where we were kind of faster. Okay. Great. So take Oh, here's the purse. Daphne's purse. Daphne, good shot. Wow. Can we talk to her? We haven't even seen the captain before, so that's kind of nice. Go, Inspector. This is not the time to bother us. How about you, Dick? Hul oh, Julio. Okay. So. Okay. Go to da go to their cabin. We're gonna. I guess I'm. We're gonna return the purse. Lipsticked. That was fantastic. I almost didn't see her there because she kind of blends in. She can bring back purse. That purse. The one that she's been holding on to. Okay. About to get up trouble. No. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing to the shooter. Okay. Now let's talk let's talk to her about Agnes's will now. Out of a heart attack, her will. Aha. Ooh, oh. She's trying to boost up in Solicitor Melville's office. Okay, so this is a manageable speed. Okay. Last will and testament of Aunt Agnes Kerbujan. So this is his aunt, then. It's been, it's a little bit confusing, because people call him, call Agnes Nicholas's aunt, and sometimes call him Daphne's aunt. Okay. To my nephew Nicholas, who is so fond of money, I bequeath the magnificent horn, magnificent horn of plenty that was given to me by his mother. 2,000 francs. is not someone that they, they knew about until he came into their lives fairly recently. 
Yeah, exactly, Judge Khan. She doesn't take crap from anyone. Why was she wearing green when she tossed the bag? This is a very good question. Okay. So. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Great. I think there's a really good story here. I just wish... I wish the gameplay was a little... I don't know. But like, it's hard for me to make any judgment, really, because I am just going through a walkthrough. Maybe some of this is easier if you're actually playing the game, but I feel like it isn't just from hear hearing from you know other people. Walk around the main deck. Okay. Walk around the main deck, walk and enter the cabin. We'll be invited into the passenger's cabin as he walks around the main deck. Okay, I'm not being invited into anyone's cabins yet. Uh-oh, I'm not being invited anywhere. Okay, what time is it again? Okay, it's four, so I should be... I should be invited to talk to people. Okay, just keep walking right, it'll eventually happen. Thank you, Masamis. I think, yeah, Masamis, you mentioned this game's a little bit hard to <laughs> to play if you just have no instruction. They don't make it easy. I really like um, how the, this, this blue dither is reflecting the color... Oh, Inspector, okay. There's something to tell. Well, that's nice. I, yeah, the color of the, the shadow is that dither dark cyan, and it reflects the color of the, the sky. That's gorgeous. Okay, so let's just save this. Oh, I can't save it. Oh, wait. Okay, yes, I can. Okay, going in. Yeah, it didn't really get great scores at the time. Okay, Massimus says this game. Oh, so this is... 16 o'clock. Okay. Yes. Oh, you again. Okay. She says Father Fabiani killed her father. Ah. Oh, I like this view of her. That's great. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Father. Yes. Yeah, so they already know Father Fabiano and his gambling habit. Lost a lot of money. <laughs> Did we? We came into this cabin and opened up Father Fabiano's suitcase and found all his poker chips and everything. Ah, threatened to kill Nicholas. That's pretty straightforward. <laughs> well, Daphne. I wonder what the murder weapon was. Strange object. Yeah, Marcus, you remember being super intrigued by this game as a kid? It's very intriguing. Okay, great. So... So we have to just keep walking around until and more people will talk to us. We should <laughs> do a circuit. Because apparently this happens quite a few times. I think it's cool to be invited in to get, you know, the, uh, what is it, the lowdown on what people are actually feeling now. The art is definitely the best part of this game. You can mark who blames who on your chart. That's true. Okay, so let me make a quick note.
Okay. So. Daphne blames Fabiani for Nicholas' death. Okay. Jim Matt says horizon, bo horizon bobbing is so effective and so simple. It is. It's gorgeous. I, bar none, this game, the art is is so good. It's absolutely the best part of this game. I also really like the interface. Like the user interface is really nice. Actual gameplay and music, mm, not so much. But there's more than enough in this game to enjoy. Okay, why is this? Why is why is not more of this happening? I've been told, I enter the cabins to talk to Rebecca, Daphne, Fabiani, and Rose. No one, no one wants to invite me to their cabins. You just keep walking. Okay. It is a walkthrough after all. I should be expected to do my fair share of walking. What can't I just like go into those cabins? I might try that if this next circuit doesn't doesn't reveal anything. Yeah, I don't um I don't know <laughs> what, what what more I can uh, hope hope to get invited to. Anyone want to have any more conversations with me? No. Okay. Well, this says talk to Rebecca. So we haven't talked to Rebecca yet. So let's let's go to her cabin. Okay. You know what? Let's just go. Anyone feeling guilty? Oh, change directions. <laughs> Let's just see if we can just walk and find these people. Where's uh rep? Okay, let's just go here. Can we just go? I can't get in. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what? We gotta walk the other way. Mm. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, cruise for a corpse. So much potential. Ah, you're oh my gosh, are you serious? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. I promise I'll be discreet. Oh, I love her. She's like this. It's great. Okay. Rose. So Rose Logan. So uh, Rose is Tom's wife and Tom is the lawyer of Nicholas. Okay. About Rose. Yeah, she's not, yeah, she's not um, being detained or anything. Maybe she's being locked in her cabin, but she's not locked because she opened it up. I don't know. Yes, where she killed my husband. Okay, okay, here we go. She really had the best reasons for doing it. Okay. <sighs> Rebecca. This is the widow. Blames Rose for killing Nicholas. Okay. Well, yeah, she did have the gun advertisement. BMD nerd, uh, you've missed a few Crimson Continuous Days. What exactly are we investigating? We are investigating the murder of Nicholas Karabujan, who invited um, who invited us to this cruise, and he died like as soon as we got here. And all his family, not all his family, but his, his daughter, his wife, his lawyer, his priest, um, uh, one of his daughter's friends, like they're all kind of here and just milling about on this cruise. And we have to figure out who killed Nicholas Karabujan. And so far, his daughter thinks the priest did it because of gambling debts. The priest owed, um, the lost a lot of money to Nicholas. Rebecca is about to tell us why she thinks Rose, um, the lawyer's wife, killed Nicholas. Oh, that was a nice movement. Okay. Raphael. Okay, so we just learned about Raphael from the from the other letter. Rose's ex-fiance. Okay. 
Oh, that's right. Okay, I do remember that. Okay, so... Okay, so that was for money. So this is like revenge, I guess, motive. Okay, and Rose's father didn't want her marrying Raphael, and she ended up marrying Tom. Okay, she wanted to get back. She even bought a gun, which she said was for her husband's wedding anniversary. Nicholas was killed with a knife. Okay, Nicholas killed with a knife. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't... Okay, never mind that. In never mind that inspector that he was killed with a knife. She probably realized that we knew she had a gun, therefore she used another method. Wow. Oh, okay. I think this will be useful. Okay. Yeah, the camera switching is really nice. Remember, Inspector Rose hated Nicholas. Okay, so revenge and money are our two motives right now. Great. Great. So I will be updating my diagram <laughs> at some point. So why don't we walk the other way again, right? Because we started walking... <laughs> I can't remember now which way we walked. Let's walk this way now. And the animation of this game is very fluid. It's a very beautiful game. I love the style of it too. Like this EGA style is very appealing. I want to try to like kind of recreate this style. I might just do that for fun. Uh oh, what, did this game freeze? Uh oh. I think the game is locked up. We'll have to do the walking. Yeah, okay, I need to restart this game. It's locked. Okay. We will have to do... I, I, yeah, I didn't save it. That, that's my own fault. I thought uh, I thought we'd be out of the woods. Alright, let's load this up again. But now we know the trick. Now we know we need to walk the opposite direction. Second, sixteen hundred, right? Yeah. Okay. So let me uh, figure this out again. Let's see. And why isn't this even showing anymore? Hold on, I'm gonna just get rid of this source. Sorry for the technical difficulties. C, 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 C. Great. Okay. Okay. So we said we we're going to walk... This way is the way we walked to get it. Okay, gate game. Okay, <laughs> we love walking simulators. Okay, well, you're, you're, in a, you're in for a treat. The game is going to pick up close to the ending. It will be cool. It's picking up right now, Mars Miss. I'm really... I'm enjoying this. I just wish there was a bit more of it um, throughout. Oh wait, we have to walk the other way? Every stream should be flawless. TV Pump, you're correct. I agree. I mean, so far we've had uh, the, this, the OBS disconnected um, and uh, and then my game locked up. And, uh, and what else? And my caption stopped working. That's right. And my music wasn't working. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to save it. Save. Okay. Oh no, I loaded it. <laughs> Okay. 
And then I loaded the game for no reason. I've done everything that's possible. <laughs> that was no save. No. <laughs> TV Prime, I really like that that surly wizard. That silly wizard is really good. Fail, exactly. I mean I made an I I'm making another mistake as I'm describing the other mistakes that I've made. This this stream. The end is near, never fear. We're gonna be we're gonna be uh, closing up shop for the night at around eleven thirty, and we're gonna find someone to raid. Saving in the wrong place can be just as as destructive as not saving. Amen, Bill, Bill Coon. Look, at least I didn't save over something I that I didn't want to save over. It could be worse. Exactly. We're storing when you mean to save all these things. Really dodged a bullet. Come on, Rebecca. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna s save. Why does it say save game disk? What is this? See, why is that not even an option here? There is no save. That's why I loaded. Ah, <laughs> I'm full of dread. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, I, I can't. I'm not fully to blame for this one then. Okay. Fine. Talk to me, lady. Before I do. Uh, before I um, move, I will save it again. I think I might be able to save here. No. No. Okay. Engine limitations? I don't know. I've saved during a conversation before. Maybe that's what broke the game. When I was talking to uh, Rose. Okay, so thank you for this recap of this conversation. Okay. <laughs> yes, Daphne. Okay. Oh my gosh. It froze again. Uh-oh. Yes, game says good. Yeah, I think uh, the game is telling me that we're done for now. Um, by the next time we play this, I will try to get through these two conversations. Um, and then save it. But I think, yeah, I think the game is telling me that it's, it's, it's done. <laughs> 